Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, felt led to jump on and talk about some stuff. And I know I've said this before, but um, I, I'm just, man, I'm just talking about stuff that God's talking to me about and things that he's bringing to my attention and, you know, different stuff that I'm seeing um, in my own life and and, um, you know, just, just normal everyday stuff. Um, and in the times that we're living in, it's, you know, really, really important for us, um, to be cooperating with God, um, instead of cooperating with the world, I mean, we're cooperating with God and, and we, we have to tolerate what's going on in the world. We have to not always put up with it. Um, but we've, we've got to have the attributes of Jesus and being patient and kind and, um, but at the same time, standing firm and um, I'm getting text messages, sorry. Um, and, and you know, not being conformed to this world. But um, I, I, I just, I'm gonna try um, to express um, how important it is that we're cooperating with God right now and all this stuff that's going down down here down down here and our lives and this fleshly stuff is all secondary um and so anyway um let's go ahead and pray up and ask the lord to be with us all and so that uh, uh we can rise up above all this junk down here and see our way clear to follow and cooperate with and uh i mean to lean on depend on and trust in Jesus and, and God, our father. So heavenly father, Lord, we, we thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you for all of our many blessings, Lord. We thank you for this time that we have Lord to, to visit and talk about you and talk about improving ourselves and, and bettering our lives, Lord. And we're asking that you would today help us Lord to, be more cooperative and and to work together um, um, in a in a better way, Lord, with you personally and then with each other, Lord, to um, to be slow to speak and slow to anger and and to be able to properly handle what it is that we're having to deal with down here right now. And you know, we we thank you in advance for being with us and and. We just pray by the Holy Spirit, Lord, that uh, um, I can say what I need to today on your behalf. We pray all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's a... <sighs> Cooperating with God. <sighs> and a lot of people... Boy, I, you know, I know when I was younger, I thought, man, all I had to do was obey God. I just got to obey him. Man, I can't obey you. I can't, I can't go 30 minutes without doing something or thinking something that's not quite right. You know, and cooperating with him and obeying him are two different things, but they're kind of the same thing. Um, if you're cooperating with him, and and what does that mean? I'm just curious. I'm going to, I'm going to go, um, Let's just go to Google cooperation. What does the word cooperation mean? Um, sorry, I'm... Cooperation definition. The purpose of working together to the same end. And something similar 
assistance, especially by ready compliance with request. We would like to ask for your cooperation in this survey. Um, so, you know, that's, that's a, so, you know, Man, I, I tell you what, um, God's going to be God with or without you. God's going to allow it to happen to this planet. He's going to allow it to happen to this planet with or without you, without with or without your cooperation, or with or without you. And <laughs> that that's. He really would like for you to tag along and, 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 and the great news is that if, if you're being kind of prodded and, um, if you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth right now with God and, and you're hammering it out. Man, consider yourself blessed. Um, and the reason that I, that I, um, I say that is that um, in Ephesians uh, chapter one, verses three through six, blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us and him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him and love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he made us acceptable or accepted in the beloved. So, man, if you're, if you're, 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 I don't want to say wrestling with God. Maybe you are, maybe you're wrestling with him. Maybe you're, you're in a relationship with him and wherever you're at in that relationship, uh, if you're tossing and turning and you're trying to figure it out, man, that's a great thing. That's an awesome thing. God's wanting you to cooperate with him. I mean, it, it's by his will that, that you're been picked I mean and it's of your own will that you've picked him but we've had that conversation before um yeah you pick God and you're definitely he definitely picks you he gives us all that choice so if you're wrestling with stuff and you're contemplating things and you're struggling with you know how to figure this out man that's great you're off to a great start because it's God himself who is wanting to have a relationship with you he's wanting I mean, what, what do you, what do you do in a relationship? You cooperate with my wife. I cooperate with her. I work together with her. I, 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 you know, have to give, I have to take, I have to, you know, um, it, the process of working together to the same end. So, um, you know, you're one of the elect Jesus elected you. He he chose you. He picked you. And and if you're in this place with him where you're seeking him and you're wrestling him and you're going back and forth and you're trying to figure it out, that is great news. And and so um what can I what can I say? What can it, what, what can I tell you to how to cooperate? Um I've got a couple of Bible verses pulled up. Um, Galatians 5, 5, for through the spirit, we eagerly wait, await by faith, the righteousness for which we hope for through the spirit, we eagerly wait by faith, the righteousness for which we hope. We all want to be better, right? We all, we want to be better people. We want to be 
better for others. We want to be better for God. I mean, we want, we're, we're wanting to cooperate with him. I mean, um, I, I don't know about you, but I, I sure I am enjoying what God has given me as far as this relationship I have with him. I mean, um, you know, when I first started this, I, I, this thing with God and my walk with him, when I'm just going to start, you know, my early, early twenties when I was an adult made the decision that, yeah, okay, this is for me. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going to seek the Lord and have a relationship with him. I want to cooperate with him. Um, you know, it, it was quite the, quite the struggle. Um, and, and, you know, um, I had a lot of days that would just weigh me down and, um, you know, and I didn't feel like I was getting anywhere with him, but, um, you know, I just thank you, Lord, that I still had that hunger and that thirst to, um, you know, I, I wanted to, I wanted to have that relationship with him. I wanted to try and figure out how I should be acting in the relationship and, and then, um, and it, it, it takes some time to do, but, um, you know, I, I had to keep feeding my spirit. I had to keep feeding myself. I had to keep turning away from things that would, that's contradictory to cooperating with God. I had to keep praying and asking the Lord to help me get to the point, um, you know, to help me cooperate, to help me change my mind, the renewing of your mind, that, that the constant renewing of your mind that God talks about. Um, and, and, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, God kept stepping into my life. He kept speaking to me. He kept sending me pastors and teachers and co-workers and random people. And he, he kept sending me the Holy Spirit through others and, and the Holy Spirit himself, um, you know, to help me, um, you know, to be more cooperative. Um, and it's totally against our nature to cooperate with God. It's totally against our nature. So, um, that's that sinful nature that we're talking about. But, um, I, I just, um, I'm, I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to just say it like this. I'm going to read Philippians 2, 12 through 13. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling for it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Um, man, you gotta want to, you gotta want to, you got to want to cooperate. You got to want to be with them. You got to want to work this out. You want to be, you want to, you got to want it. You got to want it. And, and, and it, you, you've got to, you got to work at it. Um, you know, especially now we are in, man, second Timothy chapter three. I mean, good grief. Just leaps off the page. Just leaps off the page. But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, have nothing to do with such things people um man i don't want to cooperate with these yahoos down here i i want nothing to do with god says to have nothing to do with them hate the sin not the sinner right i hate what they do all these things that god hates this stuff i want to cooperate with god i i, I don't want to cooperate with these people down here i don't no way um, 
And, and if you're living your life for God and, and you're sincerely trying, um, if someone says something bad about you for doing that, um, everyone else will, I mean, they'll know um, that, that these people that are saying this crap are wrong about you. Um, you won't have to defend yourself because the Holy Spirit, God, and, and I mean, they, they will defend you. And, and I, I know in Exodus, there's a, I was reading Exodus, um, chapter one, um, verse three, blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us. Whoop, I'm sorry. I'm got the wrong one pulled up. Sorry. Um, well, shoot, where did it go? Uh, Exodus 23. I had it pulled up and it went away. So let me pull that up. And sorry, guys. Okay. Exodus 23 and verse 22. Okay. If you listen carefully to what he says and do all that I say, I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. Um, God's going to, he's going to come to your defense, man, if you're cooperating with him. Um, you know, I, I, that's amazing that, that he promises to do that for us. If we're, and I, I've seen that happen a, a lot personally where someone will, heave an insult over towards me or something. And, and, and I just, I don't, I just let it go. And sure enough, when I do that, God twists this and, and turns it to where, you know, what they, what they said or, um, alleged or, or accused or whatever, um, God's flipped it. And, and so, um, um, all of you folks that are dealing with people that are, that are opposing you, um, man, I, 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 I totally have, I mean, uh, sympathy, um, I, I can't imagine having to deal with that, you know, um, on, on a level that a lot of you are having to deal with that. And, um, God bless you for having to deal with it. And, um, man, he is really putting you right on the front line and, and really making you take some of these arrows that they're, they're trying to shoot at you and, and, you know, it goes back to that armor of God putting that shield up and your helmet on and being ready. Um, and, and, um, so I, I, I know you, I know you, you're dealing with a whole lot more than I could probably deal with, just to be honest with you, because, um, I don't have a lot of patience for people. I, I don't have a lot of, um, my, my BS meter is calibrated. I'm trying to ask the Lord to recalibrate it to where it'll take a little bit more BS before I <laughs> retaliate. <laughs> um, so, um, 
you guys are doing way better than I am. Um, I can tell you that right now. Um, there's a reason why God has me a little isolated. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm getting way, way, way better. And, and, um, I, I want to get back, um, to some Bible verses about cooperating with God and Romans 12 two, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transferred by the transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Um, Ephesians two ten, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. <clears throat> so again, man, you know, you're in, you're in, you're in, you're in. Whew, take a sigh of relief. Okay. I'm in with God. All right. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure it all out. I don't have it all figured out yet. I'm, I haven't all sorted it through it all yet, but just know, just know that if you're, if you're being prompted, if you're being convicted, if you're being, if God is pursuing a relationship with you, I mean, that in itself is such a blessing and and he does that in a, in a just a bunch of different ways um um cooperate with him um i'm i'm trying to spit out what what thankfully the lord has has shown me it, it's man just so much easier just to just to go with the flow. Let him lead, let him guide, let him instruct, let him, you know, he's the captain. I'm, I'm just a co-pilot, <laughs> you know, uh, he's, I, I'm, I'm, whatever he asked me to get done, then I'll do it. And, and I, I keep going back to these flying things, but, um, you know, I never wanted to be a captain when I was a first officer. I, I didn't, I want to be the best first officer out there. And, and that's how I feel with God. I, I just want to be a good first officer. I, 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 you know, you're in charge, you're making the decisions and, and I, I'm, I'm using my discernment in my own brain, like you're supposed to. It's, okay. Just verifying that what we're doing is correct and biblical and, and I'm being led by the right guy. Okay. And not being deceived let off. Um, so, um, it's a process. Um, it's a daily thing. Um, um, and, and what's cool about God is that, I mean, you can, you can say, Hey captain, what do you, what do you think about this? What do you think about going here or going there or doing this or doing that? And, and he's cool enough to, to go, yeah, here. I'm going to let you have the controls. I'm going to let you fly for a while and, and gives you, I mean, you, you're, you're, you're kind of at your own controls and you're, you're out flying around by yourself, um, already, but man, it is, is if, if you are out there, he's like the best air traffic controller you could have. I mean, he's, he's going to keep you totally safe. You're not going to run into a mountain or, you know, so, um, I, I'm just, I'm just kind of struggling this morning of just the, the point that I, I keep trying to come home with is, um, cooperating, cooperating with them, <sighs> cooperating with them. Um, you know, John 14, 15, if you love me keep my commandments you're cooperating with them john 15 4 through 5 abide in me and i in you as a branch cannot bear fruit or of itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me i am the vine you are the branches he who abides in me and i in him bears much fruit for without me you can do nothing and we then as workers together with him also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. Um, take it seriously. Um, 
it gets easier. It gets easier and easier and easier. Um, you know, it, it's, it's like practicing whatever. Um, you know, you start hammering nails and man, you start whacking your thumb quite a bit. But after a while, <laughs> you get good at it and, and everyone, you know, so um, I can't wait for the weather warm up so I can start hammering nails again. But, um, you know, I, I just, I, I'm just trying to, your, your life is going to be so much easier if you just kick back and just cooperate. Just say, you know what, I'm just going to cooperate. And, and sometimes he's putting us in very, very difficult situations and, and you, you just have to deal with it. And, and, and so, um, I, I know he's put me in a bunch of stuff that I wanted no part of. And, and, oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm just going to have to cooperate, uh, through what God's put me through. And, and, you know, like with my health stuff, with my heart thing, um, I just had to cooperate. I didn't have a, I didn't have any other choice. And, and so, um, hopefully he doesn't take you to that level where it's, you know, Hey, Jim, I, we could just end this now and you can stop breathing. And <laughs> so I was like, ah, I guess I need to cooperate with you, Lord. Uh, so, um, uh, um, there's so many verses. I mean, I, I, I'm just scanning through some stuff that I kind of wrote down and Ezekiel 36 verse 27, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. Um, it's like, it's like you're constantly feeding your spirit and and you you have to make an effort to do that instead of spending your time on the internet or social media or whatever you're doing you know you need to be spending some time feeding yourself with god's word and and um i mean i mean you're you're learning how to cooperate and, and and you're learning how to get better at this. And, and so, um, anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and, um, God bless everybody. And, um, I'll talk to you later.